Right, so today we're looking at our next Christmas promise in these little videos where we're going through the Bible looking at these promises of Christmas, promises of Jesus' birth. Now, this next one comes from Micah chapter 5, and we're just going to read the first four verses and then just one more sentence. But let me just read from Micah chapter 5, verses 1 to 4 and a bit. <clears throat> so, marshal your troops now, city of troops, for a siege is laid against us. They will strike Israel's ruler on the cheek with a rod. But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. Therefore, Israel will be abandoned until the time when she who is in labour bears a son. For the, and the rest of his brothers return to join the Israelites. He will stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they will live securely, for then his greatness will reach to the ends of the earth. And in that extra line, and he will be our peace. Now, um, we might, uh, as we go forward, we might actually come back to this because this uh, actually gets quoted later in the Nativity story. But we'll look at that another time. For now, we just want to look through this whole promise. Now, within, firstly, obviously, we want to just cover that awesome verse two, that out of Bethlehem is going to come this ruler, come up this shepherd. He's going to be born, but his origins are are from of old, of ancient times. Now that's obviously this big mystery of Jesus that we it takes us so much to try and figure out. We never quite figure exactly how it happens, but this God the Son, Jesus, was there. John in his gospel just begins with this. Jesus was there at the beginning of the world. He made it. And then in this moment, he's born as a human. He, even though he is everlasting and has been and will always live forever, there is a moment where this everlasting son was born. His origins, though, even at his birth, people recognise, now nah, this baby, he's older than this. His origins are from of old, from ancient times. But I also just wanted to look at this baby, although it is an immense hope. And as we read on, it's this it is incredible what this baby is going to achieve. This Jesus is going to bring peace and strength, majesty. The whole earth is going to all be blessed through this Jesus. But remember that verse one that we read. They will strike Israel's ruler on the cheek with a rod. When we started these Christmas vids, Eve had this promise that this curse is going to be fixed by a child, that you're going to have Eve. This child, much later, is going to defeat this devil that you couldn't defeat. But in doing so, this child is going to be hurt. This child is going to, although he's going to destroy the devil, the devil's going to hurt him. And we see that in this promise as well. This amazing baby Jesus is going to do so much incredible things. But it all begins with this reminder. He is great and he's going to keep doing amazing things. But one of the reasons he's come is to suffer. He's come to die. But out of this death is going to come all this peace. And that's perhaps just one also little great thing about Jesus. That last line that I just wanted to read, and he will be our peace. If you read on, what that as you read on, actually, what he says is he will be our peace as, like uh, Micah, this prophet where he is now, they're afraid that this city is going to be besieged, as you saw at the beginning. But what he says is, even while we're under attack, we'll be at peace because of Jesus. Even though he suffers, we'll be all right. Even though we suffer, we'll be all right. He will be our peace. Something about this Jesus who origins are from of old 
It means we're not going to be afraid of anything that happens to us. Because this baby, even though he suffers, he's not afraid. He defeats death. He defeats fear. He's stronger than anything else. We don't have to be afraid. Even while Micah is currently, un the city is under siege. He's not afraid because he knows there's this Jesus. He's been with us, this God the Son. But he's going to have this birth and he's going to fix everything. But it's going to cost him. Anyway, in this Micah promise, there's just so much about Jesus and it's awesome. And we are going to look at it again later. But that is just beginning to look at this Christmas promise from Micah.